crafty friends, it's Jenny from Origami Tree bringing you free crafty fun all year round and today we'll be learning how to make a paper gift bag perfect for all of your little treats and also gift wrapping too. But before we jump into the video, if you're new to this channel, be sure you hit that subscribe button. Also turn on notifications to be alerted of new crafty fun videos when they come out as I post a new video every single week and would love for you to join me. And without further ado, let's jump right in. To make this cute little treat box, you're going to need a square sheet of paper, some glue, and a ribbon to tie it all together. Let's start by taking our square sheet of paper and flipping it over so that the color side is facing down towards the table. Now we're going to fold the entire thing in half, but we're not going to fold all the way. We're just going to do a pinch fold right over here. So let's give that a little pinch and then unfold. Now let's take this far right side and we're going to fold it past that center mark. So the center mark is over here. We're going to fold it just slightly past that, maybe about half a centimeter or so. And crease that in. Then take this left side and fold it over the right side so that it overlaps just a little bit like this. Crease it in and then unfold. So now let's take our glue stick, put a little bit on this left side over here. Bring this flap over and seal it shut. Now we're going to take the bottom and fold it up about one inch. Crease that in. Unfold just a little bit so that it is perpendicular to the table. Stick your finger into this opening. And as you do that, you're going to push inwards on the left side. So push inwards on the left side and it's going to create a triangle shape like this. Do the same thing on the right side, so push it in and down, crease that in, and now we have two triangles on each side. Then take this top flap and we're going to fold it past this horizontal line over here. So fold it straight down, crease it in. Do the same thing on the bottom, so we're going to fold it straight up so that it overlaps with this top flap and crease it in. Now let's take some glue and dab it right over here to seal it shut. Bring that up. So now let's focus on this corner here and this corner here. You're going to take this right side and fold it over right at that corner. Fold it straight up, crease it in. Do the same thing on the left side. So let's bring it over right at this point. Fold it over and crease it in. So now let's unfold and then we're going to flip it around and do the same thing on this side. So we're just going to crease the same fold again. This would just make it easier for us later on. And now we're going to unfold and now let's open up the bag. So. I'm going to take this, put our hand in here, a couple of fingers will do, and we're going to pop the side. So you're going to take this on the left side, bring it up, and then pop it open like this. Flip it around, do the same thing on this side, pop it open, and then push this horizontal crease in. and then flatten. Flip it around, do the same thing on this side. Push it in, flatten. And now it should look like a lunch bag. Now let's rotate it a little bit and focus on this side over here. So we're going to take the top and we're going to fold it down about a quarter of a centimeter. So you fold it down back and then you're going to fold it forwards and then fold it back, crease it in and just keep doing that until you are satisfied with the height of your bag. So we're just doing little accordion folds here, just up and down. Now 
I think right about here is okay for me. So we have our zigzags. So now let's collapse everything. And we're going to fold it back. So we're going to fold just the top part back like this. Give it a little pinch on the left side. And then unfold. And now let's open up our bag. You can fill it up with stuff. I'm going to fill mine up with some cotton just to puff it up a little bit. Now let's refold the bag. Refold these folds at the top. And then secure it shut with a ribbon. So here are the two that I made side by side. Now you notice that this one has a gap in the middle, so you can choose to keep it like this, or you can close it up by putting glue right here and right here, and then kind of just bringing them together, and that would create the fan effect like on this one. But if not, you can leave it like this as well, and that is how you make a treat bag. I hope you have fun making that paper gift bag. If you'd like to see more videos like this, be sure you hit that subscribe button. Also, turn on notifications to be alerted of new crafty fun videos when they come out. I post a new video every single week. If you'd like to further support this channel, you can also purchase official Hello My Crafty Friends merchandise. I have t-shirts, mugs, towels, and all that great stuff. I'll leave the Teespring link in the video description down below. Thank you so much for your support, and I'll see you next time. Bye!